YouTube, what's going on? AC Official. Today I've got the Stone Island Real vs Fake. I'm doing this on a navy sweatshirt. A lot of people have been asking about this, so it's finally here. Um, I'm going to be doing a few more Stone Island comparisons on jackets, uh, different things really, just because people have been asking me about this so much. So, yeah. Also, shout out to the Hoxton Trend. I don't know if you lot will know him, but he's done a lot of videos on Stone Island stuff. He's done a lot of things on jackets in general, like Montclair, Canada Goose. So I'm gonna put his link in the description, so make sure you check that out. I'm also gonna have a link in the description for Shop With A Meal. It's another guy who's on his YouTube team, doing a lot of videos on all this high-end stuff, so definitely have a look at that. But yeah, I'm gonna get into the comparison now. So the first thing you're gonna notice, as always, is the packaging. I think I've said this in literally every video so far. Packaging's a big giveaway because these brands are high-end luxury brands, so they're gonna present their product in a way that represents the quality of the brand. So on the right, obviously, Authentic, left, Replica. Uh, the Authentic was about 140 pounds. I think the Replica was about 30. So obviously big price difference, but yeah, first thing is the dust bag. So I got this dust bag with the real thing. It's just a bag for your jumper really. Just got Stone Island on both sides. Drawstring so you can tighten it. And then the jumper itself comes with the barker. They're obviously showing the product details. The bag got Stone Island print on it. And then you've got the tag in there. Labels, I'll open that in a second. And then the fake one here, just a random bag really. No branding in it whatsoever. Um, like the Bow Mum one I did as well, just got this zip open in here. So yeah, nothing much to that, but that's the packaging. I'm gonna open them up now, so we're gonna look into the actual differences of the product. All right, so the very first thing you're gonna notice is the color's actually different. So they're both supposed to be navy. This one, here, the authentic, looks an actual navy colour, whereas this one here is a bit lighter. Um, obviously, if you haven't got them both next to each other, I don't know how easy that would be to tell, but just pay attention to that. The colour is meant to be quite dark if you're buying the navy one. One of the first things you're going to want to be looking at is the tag. So here's the replica tag, as you can see, it just says Stone Island. Got that on both sides, it's a bit crease, no barcodes, no stickers or anything. So if it's plain like this, uh, depending on where you bought it from, you've got to be a bit wary already. I'm going to show you the authentic one now. So as you can see, I've got the real one here. This one does have Stone Island on both sides, as the other one did. Uh, but the difference is it's got the sticker, so it's got the barcode. And then it's got that sticker there, which was the same one we saw in the bag, closer to the beginning. Um, the next thing to look at is the label. So there's the authentic one. There's the replica one. I've done a side-by-side -side, um, comparison of this on my Instagram, so make sure you're following that. Link will be in the description. These ones are quite hard to tell apart though. On Instagram, like when I, basically when I took the picture side-by-side, -side, you could see that the color wasn't exactly the same. I'm gonna try and do that now as well, just so you can see. But in terms of the actual embroidery, like they are just pretty much identical. So yeah, I hope that's clear enough. As you can see, the authentic one on top, the label is just a bit brighter, it's a bit purer in terms of the whiteness of it, but it's such a minor thing which is quite hard to tell. Also the stitching is a bit better as well, like if you look here on the replica, it's not been done too well, so think small things like that. Another thing I noticed on the Authentic is the seams are like, the quality of the material itself is much better and they have these, basically the seams going through the clothing is a lot, the quality is a lot higher than it is on the replica. If you look at the um, replica, it's just a standard, like, standard jumper. And they've just stitched on all the details, basically. Next up is a badge. So here is the authentic. On the buttons, it's got um, Stone Island, if you can see that. So yeah, around the buttons, it says Stone Island. And then, obviously, the logo. Um, comparing that to the replica here, I had to look at this for a while because straight off you can't really differentiate between the two. I'm going to put them side by side now. So yeah, that's them side by side. I don't know how helpful that actually is because as I said, like I've got them in front of me and when I took them both off yesterday, it was actually quite hard to tell the difference between them. So um, I've also done a side by side by that on Instagram. So if you want to have a look at that, remember to just follow their links in the description. 
I've also got a picture of this, but the other side of it basically, so I've taken them off, which I'll do now actually. Right, so there's probably just a um, side by side view, which is a bit better than the last one. What I was going to say was if you turn them over on the other side, um, the real ones at the bottom, fake ones at the top. So yeah, there's the other side for you, you can have a look at that. So there's where the badge went on the replica one, as you can see, like, there's loose strings, there's a stain there. On the real one, the rectangle where the badge goes over, that wasn't on the fakes, and also it looks, the buttons are a bit, slightly better. So the last detail to look at on the Stone Island sweatshirts are the labels inside. So they've got their size label here. This is the replica, so you've got the um, size large here, um, fake Certi logo stuff. I don't know if that's actually gonna work. Um, I'm gonna show you the authentic in a minute, but um, don't pay too much attention to that for now. And then there's an extra tag here. Now looking at the uh, retail version, you, again, you've got the size in at the top. That's an XXL, that was the only one they had in stock at the time, so I could only do a review for this one. The authentic one, I've obviously scanned this one. This one works. Just use a barcode scanner on your phone or an app. It will basically tell you what the product is, whether it's real or not. Um, or you can go to www.certilogo.com, type in this code here, and again, you should get the same result with it telling you um, the model of your sweatshirt, what it actually is, the color, and if it does that and it matches up, then it's obviously an authentic product. Um, as I was saying before on the fake one, I'm not sure if when you scan that it'll actually work. If it does, it's probably been linked to the wrong product anyway, so if it comes up with another product which isn't the one you have, then you will be dealing with a replica. The other thing to notice is on the other side of this, as you can see here, on the replica version you can't see, you basically can't see the stitching from the words, whereas if you look at the real one, um, you can see all the numbers all the words really clearly just through both sides so this is obviously the back that's the front there yeah obviously that's the front of the fakes and then on the back as we just discussed you can't really see any of the words through so that's quite a big giveaway actually the last thing was this other tag so the replica ones come with this extra tag on the real one I had something looking like this and there was actually more, so there's four pages worth of stuff, so you've got stuff in the back of there. That's page three here, and then more on the other side. All right guys, so that pretty much sums up the Stone Island Navy sweatshirt real versus fake review. Thanks for watching, I hope this helped. I've got a lot of new stuff coming up actually. I'm gonna be changing up what I'm doing a bit, I'm not only doing real versus fakes, but other things too. To keep up to date, make sure you're following me on all the links in the description. Follow all the guys I shouted out, and yeah, I'll see you lot on the next video. Peace.